Okay, first thing we want to do before we get started is just to talk about the breadboard for a second. Uh, here's a typical breadboard, you can see it's made up of different um, columns and rows. Um, the columns here are joined together, so for example uh, at number one we have five pins that are connected together and then we have a brake in the center rail, we typically bridge chips across that rail and then we have another uh, set of five pins that are connected together to each other as well. So A to E are connected together and F to J are connected together. Along with this we have two rails, two rows, um, the ground rail and the plus five volts rail is what we're going to use them for. Uh, you will notice that on, on some boards there's, there's a gap here uh, and uh, this breaks the rail, allows you to have two different rails. So in our case we want to build our circuit so that we're going to, we're going to use both sides of this rail. So the first thing we're going to do is just connect, uh, uh, bridge those two gaps with, uh, with a, a couple of interconnecting wires. So press that little wire there and um, this wire here. Okay, so now we've, we've bridged the two connections. And now we want to set up our circuit. So we'll set up our, our circuit in the in the corner here. So zoom in a little bit. Um, to do this now, we're going to use a, a, a nine volt battery. Uh, it's just a normal nine volt um, uh, battery, um, DC supply. Uh, we're going to use a, a connection cap. It's just a cap that goes onto nine volt battery and, and terminates in two leads. Uh, and we're also going to use a, a voltage regulator to set up it. In this case we're using an LM05 and the LM05 will accept a supply, a DC supply and output around 5 volts. Um, the, 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 this chip is, is organized so that um, it gives us our, our, our pins are as follows. The, the, this pin here, uh, the leftmost pin, um, is our voltage in. The middle pin is our ground pin. And the rightmost pin here is our uh, our voltage out, our five volt supply out. So we're going to connect that up into our circuit, uh, and we're just going to plug it in somewhere like this. If we were to plug it in this way, for example, we'd have problems on our breadboard because we'd be bridging uh, all three pins would be connected and tied together. So we 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 connect it in this way, and it means that each one of now pins that we're talking about are pins one, two, and three. Uh, so pin 1 again is voltage out, pin 2 is ground and pin 3 is voltage in. So we just take our cap and connect it so that pin uh, 3, we're going to connect into pin 3 now with our supply positive and pin 2 with our, with our ground. We're going to connect our pin 2 to our ground rail and uh, I'll just move it over a little bit because I know that pin 1 is going to have to be connected to plus 5 volts rail. Okay, so now I haven't connected the supply yet. Um, that's, our, that's our circuit set up. Uh, when I connect in the supply, Uh, our circuit is hopefully fully working, but it's difficult enough. Try and make sure that the connections don't, that the naked uh, cable doesn't touch off each other. Um, so we can't really see anything. We, we could measure with our voltage supply, our, our voltage meter rather, and measure our, our, our voltages. So uh, take your uh, multimeter and uh, set it to DC voltage. And uh, if we set it to 20 uh, volts here, uh, we should be fine to measure. So um, we should be able to measure now our input voltage. Uh, so this should be around 9 volts. So we measure that, we get 8.36 uh, volts, which is uh, what you would expect from the battery. And we should be able to see then our, our supply. Um, uh, what, what do we get now that we've got our regulated supply? Well, if I can get my hand out of the way, you should see that it's about 4.9697 volts. So it means our voltage regulator is working perfectly. Now it's hard enough to see that um, because we, we of the way our circuit is set up. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect in a little LED to indicate when our, our, our circuit is supplied. So we'll just choose an, a green LED. Um, the specification for this LED uh, is that it, uh, it, it expects uh, 3 volts maximum and uh, a roughly current of about 200, uh, sorry, 20 milliamps. Um, so with our LED, we see that we have two 
two legs. Uh, one leg is longer than the other. Um, the longer leg is the anode, and that's the positive leg, and the shorter leg is the cathode, and that's the negative leg. Uh, you'll also notice if you look very carefully at the plastic housing of the LED, that there's a little flat area here at the top, and that indicates that that's the negative pin or, or the cathode. So we want to connect this up, so I've disconnected the battery from the supply and I'm just going to connect it in so that again the longer leg is the positive leg so we're going to connect that in here too. So I've connected it to the positive rail oops, and I've connected the, um, the uh, negative leg to pin 4 so that's not connected to anything. Um, we, need a, we need to choose a suitable value for our resistor so as I said the, the LED had a maximum uh, expected a maximum voltage of 3 volts which means that we need to drop 2 volts uh, through our resistor uh, to ensure that the 5 volt supply is, uh, and is, is, is divided in that um, ratio. Uh, so 2 volt drop, 5 volt supply, means that we need a 100 ohm uh, resistor. So we plug our 100 ohm resistor in across. Um, we need to plug it from the, the uh, ground rail into our pin, uh, our, our, not our row 4. Okay, it's gone in. And just make sure that it's not shorting out with the positive pin of the of the LED. Okay, so just keep the gap there. Uh, we connect in our supply and uh, we should see that when we do our LED lights up. So this indicates then that tells us straight away that our, our supply is connected and that our battery isn't flat and so on. So uh, we know that our, our, our circuit is working correctly. So that's our that's our first circuit and you want to leave that set up on the board, it's, a, it's, it's using up a small uh, bit of space in the board, uh, but it allows us the rest of the space in the board now to uh, connect up the rest of our circuit.